Well, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to your uh, middle of the day market update. Very much needed because we're getting momentum, all right? Um, so, yeah, we're going to do a full update. We'll talk about this. We'll talk about what's going on. Do I exactly know what's going on? No. Um, but in the end, I mean, what I um, what we talked about this morning when we talk about Bitcoin. So, so we'll talk about Bitcoin a little bit and then uh, we'll talk about the markets because I, I actually do think um that we should actually be talking about solana instead of bitcoin bitcoin is quite bullish but solana and its ecosystem is ab absolutely performing here so um so we'll talk about that as well but for now bitcoin is rallying bitcoin dominance is also bullish so bitcoin is still the main topic we'll talk about but there are some important altcoins i think you need to look at so that's what we'll do as well um, for now, what, what we talked about uh, earlier this morning, what I said is that I still felt like it was most likely that we would see some sort of a pullback, but that you should be prepared for a rally at any point of time. All right, because the truth is, is that we are in an uptrend. All right. I mean, if you look at all the uh, capital markets, which I still think do matter, if you look at the Russell 2000, if you look at the S&P 500, relative, well, obviously bullish, relatively bullish today, but all right. And then you think about the fundamentals for, for, for crypto with, with Trump about to speak at the Bitcoin conference with the Ethereum ETF coming up. Fundamentally, we are just at this point of time, we're very strong. And technically, you should also not forget that, that we are very strong. All right. I mean, we talked about this earlier, is that this breakout we had above this entire level, that was super bullish. So we were in bullish market circumstances. So then you always need to be prepared. And honestly, like, I don't necessarily know what's going on. I, I know that this started with some shorts being closed, which you can see right here. But you can see some, some real longs being opened now as well. So, so there is real momentum. And you can also see if, if you look at the volume right here, like the, the volume is above 30 billion right here, which has gone up $2 billion in the, next, in the, in the last hour, uh, which is a lot. All right. So, so th this is not, it, it could turn out to be a fake move. Like that could be true, but it looks real. All right. The thing is, is that it's Friday, it's the summer, so markets in general are a little bit more illiquid. So would I trust this move completely? No. I still think that the main level we need to break above is 66,000. Um, and we, we, we have volume, we have momentum in terms of open interest, we have a positive CVD. Um, but that breakout above, like if we break above 66,000 right here, we might have some bigger pullbacks, but then I'm pretty sure we're going up to 71,500 as well. Um, so that's what we'll have to see. I mean, in general, be careful um, because we we can see some major volatility still in, in the remainder of today, especially if you're watching from the US. I mean, your day still still takes quite long. I mean, we, we might actually see volatility if you're we might actually see volatility for the next eight hours. Uh, so that's quite a lot of volatility, quite a lot of things that can happen. But for now, I have to be bullish. All right. I was already bullish on the markets. I thought we would drop down a little bit lower, but this move seems legit. All right, so the main resistance level is six, is between uh, 66,000 and 66,350. Can we break above that? Honestly, yes. Um, I do think we can break above that. And then, look, I, I would not buy Bitcoin right now. I would look for altcoins that are, are performing and, and hopefully the Bitcoin dominance starts dropping down a bit. Um, but the, the main level to break is 66,400. All right, and then I would say the next real price target is probably some sort of a level around uh, 68, 68, 68,500. Um, so yeah, we look bullish, but like I said, what you see right now, which I think is very interesting, is that Solana against Bitcoin is actually very strong. All right, so, so it's dropping down a bit right now, but we had a massive bullish breakout here, as you can see, above a very significant level. Um, Solana is probably cooling down a little bit right here, but it's also very bullish. I mean, look at this, all right? So, so now we're talking about the altcoins. <laughs> Um, but but this level right here at 164 is such a key level. Um, the four hour candle is closing in one and a half hours. It looks like it's going to be a bullish breakout. So I expect Solana and its ecosystem to be quite bullish. Um, so then when we're talking about the ecosystem, what we're obviously talking about is uh, is Gito, um, Jupiter. Um, but right now, Bonk and Boom are very much performing. All right. So if you look at that. Uh, if you look at Bonk right here, that's uh, that's about to close in on a big bullish breakout right here above 2870, which we are, I, I am positioned on this. I also told you this morning, I bought this here at, uh, well, not the bottom, but I thought we had a good chance to do something like this. 
Um, and, uh, and, and Floki is also very strong, right? If Floki is able to break above 20,000 here, we'll absolutely go to the moon. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, it looks good right now. Like I said, I don't fully trust it yet. I would ideally see the Bitcoin dominance drop down while Bitcoin holds its own. Like that would be, that would be the best case scenario. Um, but no, Solana ecosystem and meme coins are really where it's at because Floki and Pepe are also performing, but they're not uh, a part of that, uh, that Solana ecosystem. And then some other ones like Nier is quite strong right now. Um, what else is strong? Let me uh, quickly look at something here. Phantom, uh, relatively strong, also in a position on this. Not the greatest position, but I am positioned on this. Um, and that is about it for now. I'm not sure if we are seeing some very, very recent rallyers, um, but it's absolutely like it's, it's still key. And I'm trying to I'm trying to tell you that it is key that Bitcoin either breaks out or that it holds its own and the Bitcoin dominance drops down. Then altcoins can perform very well. But if Bitcoin is that if, if this is one big bull trap, which is a possibility. All right. That's what I'm trying to stress. Um, then, then altcoins will absolutely suffer because the Bitcoin dominance is very high. So that's the main thing to watch. I mean, right now, if you look at some other coins, like our weave looks to be finding some momentum here. So, uh, so now we're just freestyling, but hopefully it's still valuable to you. Uh, Dar is, uh, is, is going crazy here. Uh, very manipulated. Don't touch that. Uh, but no, are we very bullish? So that's doing something. That's also AI, such as Nears as well. Fetch is trying to get some sort of a breakout. So that could be interesting. Um, but that is it for now, I would say. All right, that's what I think you need to know. Also, make sure to, uh, well, if, if you'd like a trade like Bonk, which we are in right now, consider joining our Signal group, which I have. Um, links to that will be down in the description. And there you can also find a link to my, uh, to my, to my Twitter account, where four hours ago, I already told you that I thought Solana would perform well. Might be valuable, completely free to, to follow, of course, but those are my thoughts. If you have any questions, let me know. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.